All right, welcome to the nightcap of day one at Classic in the Country 11. Uh, if you're about ready to fall asleep in the bleachers, this won't be the game to do it because these two teams can light it up and they love to run. Kettering Alder versus Highland in what should be a great finale to day one. Well, the previous six games, I think, are going to keep you on the edge. I would so guess, I, too, I, they I, would, I, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think anybody's <laughs> going to be falling asleep, but it, Kettering Alder making its first appearance here at the Classic. Uh, you know, really appreciate uh, Coach Christina Hart and Coach Kendall Peck uh, agreeing to come down and play and play Highland in the uh, finale on Saturday night. It should be a great matchup. If you look at Alter, Alter's the odds-on favorite to get to Columbus uh, from the Southwest Division II region, and one of the teams that can really challenge Toledo Rogers. Um, have uh, some girls that have been there and in their system for a while. Uh, two sets of sisters, uh, Emma and Kara Bachrath, uh, to go along with the Bayslack girls, uh, uh, Maddie and Libby. And then you have six foot uh, Haley Combs uh, there that have been with it in their system. Uh, they are very much machine-like as well. And then you throw in uh, probably the top freshman in the state, or arguably the top freshman in the state, is just one and one A between her and Bree Hampton Bay from Toledo Rogers. But, and this is not the quarterback from Ohio State, but her name is Braxton Miller uh, as well. Uh, and uh, you have a really uh, complete team at all, all slots. They're fundamentally sound. Uh, don't have great size uh, outside of uh, Combs inside. And uh, they can really shoot it. And uh, <coughs> they will really get after you defensively. Who's that sound like? That, that sounds, sounds like a, sounds like Highland. A lot like Highland. Uh, so if you jump over to Highland and you look at uh, you know Regina Hochstetter, who is just really coming to her own, um, and that's going to Cedarville uh, to go along with uh, you know Megan Beachy, uh, and it, um, inside you're looking at Mackenzie Miller. That's been a surprise so far in terms of what she's done on the board. She's going to match up with Combs uh, extremely well, uh, and. And outside of Afrocentric, Highland may be as deep a team as there is in the state in terms. By the time you look at Sasha Goings, you look at Rachel Horn, uh, and that uh, that there is in the state there. And obviously, uh, you know, it goes without saying how fundamentally sound they are and, and how machine-like they are when they run their stuff. Yeah, you look down at the uh, scores table during Coach Slaba's games, Sort of looks like a busy New York subway down there sometimes with the kids running in and out. <laughs> well, the most impressive thing that uh, in in the early game that I saw Highland when they when they played played Spank Twinsburg by thirty was the first game of the year to come out and play at the pace uh, that they played at, and they're not a whole lot of teams that can play thirty two minutes at that pace yeah. uh, in this state. Uh, and, and in fact, I would venture to say that there's not another team that can play at that pace. So. Uh, you know, Coach, it's about controlling the pace uh, for Coach Slaybach, uh, for Coach Christina Hart and Kendall Peck. It's about controlling tempo on the other end. Okay, so that's a wrap on day one at Classic in the Country 11, Kettering Alder versus Highland in what should end a sensational day of basketball.